Hey, there, kids. Have you ever wondered why the ocean is salty? Well, let's dive right in. The ocean is like a massive soup, full of different ingredients, and one of those ingredients is salt. Now, where does all that salt come from? It comes from two main sources, runoff from the land and openings in the seafloor. Rain that falls on the land contains some dissolved carbon dioxide from the surrounding air. This causes the rainwater to be slightly acidic due to carbonic acid. When the rain hits the earth, it erodes or wears away the rocks. This process creates ions, or electrically charged atomic particles. Many of these ions are carried away in runoff to streams and rivers and, eventually, to the ocean. Many of these ions are used by organisms in the ocean and are removed from the water. Others are not used up and are left for long periods of time where their concentrations increase over time. Two of the most prevalent ions in seawater are chloride and sodium. Together, they make up over 90% of all dissolved ions in the ocean. Sodium and chloride are salty. But the story doesn't end there. There's another way salt gets into the ocean. Deep down on the ocean's floor, there are places where the Earth's crust has cracked open. We call these cracks vents or fissures. From them, water seeps into the rocks below. As it gets hotter and hotter the deeper it seeps, the water dissolves some of the minerals from the rocks. Then, like a well-shaken can of soda, the water bursts back out into the ocean through the vents, loaded with mineral salts. So, the ocean is salty because of the land's minerals and because of these deep-sea vents. But here's another question, why isn't the ocean getting saltier? Well, that's because salt is taken out of the ocean as quickly as it's put in. Salt gets used up by animals to build their skeletons and shells. And, believe it or not, salt is even used by us humans. We extract it from the ocean for all sorts of things, like seasoning our food and preserving our meat. Plus, the deep sea vents we talked about earlier? They also help to remove salt. When sea water seeps down into earth through them, it gets heated up and reacts with the rocks, which causes chemical reactions that consume the salt. So, the ocean isn't getting saltier because the processes that add salt to it and those that remove salt from it are in balance. This is called a steady state. It's like a bath with the taps running and the plug out. The level of water stays the same. And there you have it, kids. That's why the ocean is salty. It's a combination of runoff from the land, deep sea vents, and a perfect balance of adding and removing salt. So next time you take a dip in the sea and get a mouthful of salty water, you'll know exactly why it tastes that way. Cool, isn't it?